Hello, Year 6 students, soon to be Year 7. Uh, my name is Miss Anastasiu, you can call me Miss A. I'm a science teacher at Whitefield School and I'm here today to introduce the science team but to also show you a practical that you can do at home. I'm here with Mr Tan. Mr Tan? Oh, he's, like, he's listening to music. Let me just get his attention. Oh! Hi, Miss A. Hello, Year Sixes. How are we? Good, sorry. I hope I didn't hurt you there. No, that's fine. That's fine. Well, I was just about to introduce the science team. Do you want to give me a hand? I would love to. Who do we start off with? So we're going to start off with our head of science, Mr Connolly. So there's the wonderful Mr Connolly. His favourite piece of science equipment is the Bunsen burner. Uh, so you'll get to use this when you come and see us in the labs in September. He says it changed everything. Moving on, we've got Mr Salvetta, our head of chemistry, and he knows a lot of weird and crazy facts. Did you know that until recently, scientists believed that kangaroos didn't fart and that almost 3% of the Antarctic ice is made up of frozen penguin pee. No way. Penguins are my <laughs> favourite animal. We have Miss Ali, who um, she loved learning about the human heart when she was at school, um, and she loves teaching it. And we have Miss Jones, whose favourite scientist is Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday discovered that you can generate electricity using electromagnetic induction, something that changed science forever. Super cool. And then we have Miss Hall, um, who's got another kind of weird and wonderful animal fact. So snails, their digestive system is a bit weird and it's not quite where you'd expect it to be. And it ends up that they actually poop on their own heads. Whoa. Yeah. There you go, your sisters. Next time you have a family get together, snails poop on their head. <laughs> um, and then we have Miss Ahmed. She's actually uh, one of the newest members of the science team. So she'll be starting with us in September. And her favourite element is gold. Favourite piece of equipment, Bunsen burner again. We now have the oldest member <laughs> of our department, of our team. Mr. J, who loves yoga and meditation. He is a resident physics guru, so he knows a lot about physics. Yes, he certainly does. Mr. Farah, his fact is, and this kind of blows your mind, there are 10 times more stars in the sky than there are grains of sand in all of the deserts and all of the beaches in the whole world. Wow. And lastly, Miss Cannon is our lab tech, whose favorite equipment is also the Bunsen burner. So Miss Cannon helps out prepare all the um, equipment for student practicals. There you have it, year sixes, science department. Should we start with the experiment, Miss A? Let's begin. If we were at school, this is the list of equipment that we would be using. We've got our Bunsen burner, which you've seen, a tripod, and some gauze, a beaker, so a glass beaker, and some red cabbage, which you can buy from any supermarket, something called a pipette, uh, which would help us to squeeze up the liquid and transfer it to somewhere else. Today, we're probably just gonna be pouring. Then we've got glass test tubes, a test tube rack, liquids for testing. So you could literally use anything that you have at home. You could try, so we've got some vinegar, toothpaste, um, mix it with water, any cleaning products, washing up liquid. I did want to test a lemon though. I don't know if you've got a lemon, Mr Tan. It's your lucky day today, Miss A. I have a lemon here oh. in my hand. Excellent. Okay, do you want it? Yes, please. I'll pass it to you. Thank there you, you go. Oh. Now we can test a lemon, it's my favourite one to test. The last thing to say is about safety. Uh, so we will be using hot water um, and I've got my lab coat here so I am going to put it on. If we were at school we'd also be wearing science goggles. Mr Tan's going to wear his safety goggles. If you are doing this at home, your sixes, please do make sure that you've got an adult with you uh, because we will be handling some hot water. Um, obviously, because I'm at home, I don't have test tubes, but I do have 
just little glasses as the containers. I'm gonna use like a pan to make my liquid on the hob. Should we start with the experiment? Yes, please. We are doing an indicator at home and an indicator is something that we use to test whether a liquid is an acid, an alkaline or a neutral. Miss A is showing you a pH scale. From zero to six, we've got the acidic substances. Seven would be neutral. And from eight to 14, you've got alkaline substances. What you need is red cabbage, hot water. Let it rest for a few minutes until you get a solution that looks like this. I'm going to give this solution to Miss A so she can use it to test the different solutions that she's shown you beforehand. Miss A, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, the beak has grown. Thank you, Mr. Stan. <laughs> this is now what we're going to use. So this is currently a purplish colour. We're going to test out a few different liquids. If it changes to red kind of pink, we know that it's an acid. If there's no change in colour and it stays the same, then we know it's neutral. And if it goes kind of green and yellow, then we know it's alkaline. I'm actually going to secretly just pour something Mr. Tan into a little glass Ooh. thing. It's hidden behind my laptop. I'm going to pour in the cabbage water and uh, you can tell me what you think it is. Can we see that? Oh, wow. That changed to color red. It must be the lemon, Miss A. You're correct, yeah. It's, you can't see it so well, but Mr. Tan correctly identified it as it's gone really, really bright pink. So it's kind of this end of our scale. And it was the lemon. I really needed that lemon. It's my favorite one to test. Okay. Let me have a guess. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add our indicator. And what I want you to do, Miss A, is identify whether this solution, this bleach solution, is acid, neutral, or alkaline. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's gone green. So that must be ooh, an alkaline solution. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one last one. This time, standard glass of water. What color do you think it's, it's going to go when I pour in our cabbage liquids? Yeah water is neutral it will stay purple or blue let's let's see what happens can you see that turn yeah it stayed the same it is purple it stayed the same so we know that this is correct awesome mr tan thank you so so much for your help i really could not have done that without you and hopefully our year sixes can now give it ago themselves. Lastly, I wanted to end with a question. So the question for you, Year 6, is this is the Eiffel Tower. It's in Paris. It's made of iron metal. Um, and in the summer, the Eiffel Tower actually gets taller by 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And then in the winter, it shrinks again. So my question to you is how is it possible that this grows taller by 15 centimeters in the summer. There you have it, your sixes. Put your thinking caps on and we are looking forward to your answers in September. Shall we do a high five? Let's do a high five, Miss A. This was Three, such a fun. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Uh, stay well and we really really look forward to meeting you in September. Goodbye from Miss A. Goodbye from Mr. Tan. Bye! Bye.